Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 52. Now this week I thought we'd take a look at one of the things I'm asked most when I do autograph workshops or demonstrations and that is how to use autograph to set up worksheets or create your own worksheets, how to get the graph looking just right, how to get the numbers looking just right and so on. So I thought it's probably worthwhile doing a quick video on it. So here we go, cracked open autograph in standard mode, everything looking nice. Now the first thing to notice as we've talked about back in video 7 I think it was, is that we're on equal aspect mode here if I just hover over that and that means that my x and y scales are fixed so that they go up by equal amounts so the axes are square like that now you can turn that on or turn that off and as we've talked about in the past if you at all possible try and leave it on especially if you're doing straight lines because it just uh, confuses students much less about gradients and all that kind of stuff anyway if I was doing a worksheet the first thing I'd do is probably sort out the thickness of these lines so if we just go to edit axes and I go to appearance I tend to find that a thickness of one and a half for both the axes and the minor grid lines tends to work quite well and click OK. Um, now, you might be thinking, well, those numbers look a little bit too small. I don't tend to change the size of the numbers until I've got my scale just right. So I'm going to leave that for a second. And the next thing I'm going to do is just get rid of this uh, key at the bottom. So right click and get rid of show key. Um, I think I probably will need just a few more numbers than that. So I'm going to go on to my edit axes and I'm going to sort the Y scale out first. Now, as we've talked about in the past, always sort your Y out first because your X changes automatically. So I'm going to get my Y going from minus 8 to 8 and click OK. And my X is just going to change automatic. Now, that looks absolutely stupid. Uh, so I'm going to click on my edit axes again and I'm going to take control from autograph and I'm going to have my Y numbers appear in every one, my X numbers appear in every one, my minor grid lines appear in every one on the X and one on the Y, click OK, and that's looking quite nice. Now the problem is, if you're doing straight lines, straight line graphs, the chances are you don't want quite such a wide um, set of axes. You don't want your X going from minus 13 to 13, because if you're doing 2X plus 1 or something, you're going to end up with Y values of 23 and 21 and all that kind of stuff. So you want your X a bit narrower. So before you copy it onto your uh, Word document, just hover up to the top here and click this little bu button, which is um, like a minimize button. So if I give that a click, that gives me complete control over my axes. Now my Y is going to stay the same um, because that's fixed. However, my X can shrink to whatever I want it. So often if I'm doing straight line graphs, a nice little set of axes like that will be absolutely perfect. So get your window exactly how you want it just by dragging it around. And when you're ready, press page. Uh, so, sorry, press uh, yes, sorry, press page, press copy page, that's always the one, one you want, not copy graph, copy page, crack open a Word document or a PowerPoint document or whatever you want, and when you're there, right, uh, right click, and fingers crossed, we should have paste, click paste, and there is my autograph graph. Now that's now free to move around, it's free to resize if I like, and do all the stuff I can do with it on Word. And if you have it with the thickness set, as I said, to one and a half, one and a half, then that comes out really, really nicely. OK, now a couple of other things uh, you might want to do if I just go back to autograph is firstly, you might just want some square paper of that size. You might not want those axes on at all. So if you just go to edit axes and you go to options and you go to none for axes, then there you get yourself a nice little bit of uh, square paper. Another thing you might want to do, though, is to actually get the students to put the numbers on their axes themselves. So if I just get go back to show all, so it's all there, and I just want to get rid of these numbers. Well, there are a few ways of doing it, but my favorite way is just to change the color of these numbers. So if I go to edit axes and I go to appearance and I go to axes numbers, what I'm actually going to do is change the color of the numbers from black to white. And if I click OK and click OK there, then I end up with a nice um, set of axes for the students to fill out themselves. And the final thing I'll show you, and I'll just edit and undo that, is if you want a good old fashioned set of axes, then this is quite nice. If you go to edit axes and you go to appearance and you go to select uh, presets and you go to graph paper and click OK, then you get a lovely old fashioned set like that. So that is a nice easy way to get autograph onto worksheets. If I show you, I did one on PowerPoint there, just uh, designing it a little treasure hunt activity and you can see you can get it looking just right just how you want it by fiddling around with the size like that. Anyway I hope that was useful and I'll be back with another video next week. Bye for now.